This is a quick video on upgrading the rear brakes of a GC8 Impreza. Uh, this particular car is going from these rear discs which are the 266mm solar millimeter solid disc to the 290mm uh, ventilated disc if you can see. That's because this is a 98 which is before they introduced the ventilated rear disc which was uh, two. 66 millimeters also, but with a different caliper. Uh, however, on the later GDA models and on some of the very early uh, RA and 22B models, they also used uh, this fixed two piston rear caliper. And so I'm going to pop this on the rear of the car. So, what's happened here is that. Uh, firstly, you remove the old uh, rotor by making sure the handbrake is off and then uh, if it's a little stuck and a little stubborn, you can get a bolt and feed it into these little holes. Uh, and that should tend to do the trick to help uh, uh, release the stuck rotor from the hub here. And then obviously check the condition of the hub if it's quite clean and flat like the case here then I wouldn't worry about cleaning it. And then around the outside there was originally a uh, sort of a thin backing plate which is, is spot welded onto the main backing plate which holds the caliper. Um, so this thin backing plate can easily be removed by drilling out the spot welds. Um, it's most convenient to use a fairly large drill bit to do this. There's about five or five or six spot welds. And so once that's done, then I've got these uh, uh, adapter brackets, or you can replace the whole backing plate with the correct GDA WRX item, but that's a lot more difficult. So the easiest way is just to use these back backing backing brackets and these particular brackets are sent from the UK uh, from a supplier called I believe uh, just give me a moment from a supplier I believe called uh, something like Scooby Parts or I don't know, sorry it's not written on there but anyhow so you get these backing uh, brackets adapter bracket sorry and then this part here with the uh, the widest based uh, spaces go in behind the, uh, the widest space spaces go in behind the go in behind you can see that there's a spacer that goes in behind the original uh, flange on the backing plate and you just bolt in the hex bolt from the front and then this holds on the dog bone and then for the other side of the dog bone you have these uh, you have these uh, other spaces with the edge uh, cut off which fits up against the this uh, raised flange on the side here and then you use this Sorry. You then use this uh, other spacer with the supplied bolts to bolt on the twin piston caliper. Here, which you can see, uh, has the. Uh, sorry, where, oh, there, there. Which has the same uh, mounting points as the later GDA WRX model. And that gives you the fixed caliper, and you just simply so. So to assemble it, it's simply a matter of uh, throwing on the bracket, throwing, uh, putting on the uh, rotor with the correct um, 170 millimeter handbrake uh, drum for the WRX models. The STI models had a 190 millimeter handbrake drum. That's what the uh, original GC8 WX model, uh, STI model, sorry. And so you put on the rotor and simply attach the caliper and then simply a matter of uh, transferring the brake line across onto the
fix caliper and bleeding the brakes and it's done and you've got a larger rear disc and hopefully that will tend to correct some of the uh, factory tendency to have too much bias towards the front and so here you'll be getting the rear to do a little bit more of the work and hopefully give you slightly better overall braking performance even if it's a very small improvement. Thanks for watching. Cheers.